Yo, what's up lads, it's Tom and today we are going to talk about exactly how you can leave your 9 to 5 in 2024 and what it takes because obviously it seems like a big daunting thing, you've always been stuck in a 9 to 5 and then you're looking at other people who are maybe entrepreneurs or working in all these fancy industries and you're like, how on earth are they doing that? And I'm going to show you exactly how you can make the transition just like I did a few years back. And honestly, guys, if you adopt everything I'm going to tell you in this entire video and really take it to heart, especially with the things I'm going to talk about towards the back end of the video, if you apply these, you will leave your nine to five. I guarantee you if you actually put your head down and apply what I'm going to tell you. And if you don't, in 2024 and you've done everything I've told you and you've gone all out every single day, come back on this video and you can comment me as much hate and abuse as you like, but this shit works. This shit has worked for many of my CEO clients, it's worked for myself and it's proven, okay? So just put your head down, listen to what I'm gonna tell you. If you can't watch an entire video on how to actually leave your nine to five, how on earth do you think you're actually going to leave your nine to five if you've got that short and shitty of an attention span? So get a pen and paper out, make some notes, get creative, and we are going to give you the exact strategy that is going to completely change your life. And you can come back and you can drop me a comment and you can let me know how you've done it. Or you can come back and drop me a comment and tell you how much you hate me and you think this video is a pile of pure shit. All right, so let's get stuck into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is nice and simple and this is just the word vision okay I don't even know if you can see that can you see that let me just adjust yeah so vision and this is all about okay well what industry do you actually want to go into for me I had a vision I'm gonna keep it really simple actually I had a vision which were my hobby. I'm a big believer in you should follow something you are passionate about. Now, I do also agree that you do enjoy what you get good at. When you're really good at a game, even if you're not a big fan of it, you start to enjoy it because you're good at it. But if you want to be truly, truly fulfilled, don't just think too much about escaping nine to five and making money. That won't get you what you're deep down rooting for. I promise you. What you want is fulfillment and you can achieve fulfillment whilst leaving your nine to five. So think about, okay, take all money aside. If you could just like, for a start, what's your hobby? If I could tell you, if I could tell you to just go do whatever you want right now, no money involved, what stuff are you gonna go and do? It may be you're gonna go to the gym. It may be you're gonna go and you just love inventing shit. It may be you love cutting hair, it may be you love building shit and designing shit and graphics, like could be anything. You can make millions in any industry on the planet. There is not an industry you can't make millions in. Now, yes, when it comes to scale into stuff like billions, I do believe business models are important, but if you just wanna leave your nine to five and you wanna make 10, 20, 30, 50K a month, you can do that with any business model on the planet. I don't give a fuck about what anybody says and people are gonna try and say, you must do SMMA, you must do social media shorts clips, you must do copywriting, you must do, it's just bullshit. Like, think about what you actually wanna do. So for me, I wanted to be in the gym. I was like, COVID came and I, I really realized that when I couldn't train, I was missing a big part of me and when I only had work, I was like, God, I actually have no, nothing that I enjoy in life. So I was like, how can I make my life designed around the thing I enjoy? So it started out, my vision initially were, if I could just be in the gym, I'd be happy. So my initial goal was, okay, I'm just gonna get into PT. And I went from a nine to five, quit my job, no qualifications. Then I had a month to go do my qualifications, study, scout out a place to work from and I went into PT initially and then that meant that I could just fulfill myself in terms of I've left my nine to five I was now self-employed I weren't working for the gym I was working for myself so all risk was on me but I was where I wanted to be I was in a gym that I loved and that was that okay so it fulfilled my it was like fulfilling myself by following my hobby 
Then from there, now I have built multiple areas within the businesses that have scaled to very big numbers and have allowed me to create the most unbelievable life for myself. But too many people get bogged down on, oh, but I don't know if this can earn me money. I don't know. Just follow your hobby. For me, it was go get in the gym. Then you get in the gym and you start working with people. You start getting results. When I started getting results and I'd start networking with people, then I'd start networking with someone who was in marketing and they'd be like, oh, you could do this, you know, you could start pushing this online. You make the connections when you're in there. So for example, let's say you love remote control helicopters and you just want to go work in a, initially you want to go work in like some store or you want to set up your own store selling some remote control helicopters. Go fucking do that, right? <laughs> Literally just go do it. And then you'll be selling them and you'll make some connections on where you can get better deals, make more profit on them. And then you'll be like, you know what? These helicopters have all got pros and cons. I'm gonna make my own fucking helicopter. And then all of a sudden you become a millionaire down the line. Of, like You've just gotta get into what you enjoy and when you're passionate, you will fucking kill it. So it's as simple as that, right? I just want you to follow your passion. I'm not saying you've gotta come and do what I've done. You've gotta come and be a coach. You've gotta come and you know, build personal development businesses and courses and, and coaching brands like I have. Like, yeah, if that's what you want to do, come do it. And you can drop me a message and be like, Tom, I want I want you to help me build that. And I want to jump in your CEO program or whatever. But you don't need to do that. Just do what you want to do. All right. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is self-belief. And this is a big one. This is, this is the thing that is gonna actually allow you to get the fucking balls down there, grab them and go, I'm quitting my job today. I'm pursuing my passion, I'm pursuing my hobby and even though I don't know how it's gonna work, I know it's gonna fucking work. So I came to the point where I had a day and I was like, I have no idea how I'm gonna get where the fuck I wanna go, but I do know I'll make it happen and I do know today I'm coming to a 100% decision that it is going to happen and I back myself all the way because I know in the past I'd already stacked wins and this leads into the point on how important building yourself into someone who has self-belief is. So if you're not already in the gym, smashing your training, working on pulling off that body fat, building muscle, walking around confident, wearing nice stuff like you are not going to be someone that can walk into your work and go, I'm the man. I'm going to make this fucking happen because I can just go through pain time after time and I see results. So for me, because I was already training and building myself into this asset, I look down at myself and I'm like, I'm a fucking machine. I'm better than everybody in here. Like, I back myself and I know and I relate all the long-term gratification stuff I'd done on working on hitting my macros every day, month after month after month, training day after day, even when motivation weren't there, waking up early, even when motivation weren't there, not going out on the piss, even when I wanted to. Like, all this stuff, I now perceive pain with results. So that gave me a massive amount of self-belief because I had been through it in other areas of life. And you have to build yourself into the vehicle which can make it happen. The reason you have not yet made this happen, you've not yet left this nine to five, is because you are not yet the guy who is capable. I mean, this may crush your ego. But when I was in my nine to five, no matter how good I thought I were, I was not the guy. Otherwise, I would have already done it. It's as simple as that. So you have to build yourself. You have to build yourself into somebody that can, and that is not just mentally, that is physically, because the physique will transcend into the mind. So you should honestly be, the biggest, honestly, the biggest cheat code is build your physique, grind. Whether you're in the gym doing just resistance training, whether you're doing a bit of boxing, whether you're doing, you know, whatever, just do hard shit, get your nutrition optimized, get your training optimized, and build yourself into a machine that people look at and go, yeah, he, why, he wouldn't work a nine to five. If people look at you right now and think, yeah, he probably works in fucking Tesco. No offense if you're working in Tesco. Everyone starts somewhere, guys. I was just in shitty jobs once as well. But 
the chances are you probably look like you work where you work right now. And that's the fucking issue. Build yourself into the guy that looks like he would fucking make millions. That's what it's all about. Build your self-belief by building you, get in the gym and go all out on how you look and your physique. Okay, number three is discipline. And this ties in as well with building on the physique and building yourself up because when you discipline one thing, for example, you're working on the, in the gym, you're getting up early, you're hitting your nutrition, you're hitting your macros, you're training hard. No matter how you feel, you still do something. So you've established the ability to self-regulate. And that means effectively you can make a conscious decision regardless of emotion to do the correct thing for a long-term goal. And building this is essential when it comes to escaping your nine to five and building a business because there are gonna be days when you don't wanna do stuff. And guys, if you've escaped your nine to five, you won't have an office to go to. You are working off your own back. But everything is rented in life. You have to show up every single day. So building this out is essential. And the best place to start building this out is building it out by building your body. Because if you can't build your body, good luck fucking building a business, right? And that's just me being completely transparent with you. And that's the journey I took. I would not be anywhere outside of a nine to five if it weren't for building my physique, which effectively transcended my mindset initially. Okay, so build that muscle of discipline. Do hard things every single day, no matter how you feel, <coughs> and get shit done. Okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about is a nice easy word, and that is focus. We really need to find one thing. So once you've got your hobby, think of one product or one service you want to provide or sell. Too many people, I see this all the time, are, and I get it, you know, be excited, be optimistic, right? And there's a time and a place for it, but once you know the hobby, once you know the service or the product, i.e., oh, I love clothes, just sell t-shirts. Oh, I, I, I like physique, I like working on my physique. Okay, just offer PT or just offer online coaching. Don't be the guy that is watching all this stuff on how to make money and it's like, okay, I've got an SMMA business, I've got uh, a physique coaching business, I've actually now got uh, a clothing company and I've got a supplement company and I've got this and I've got that and I'm actually doing some stocks and crypto shit and it's the reason you are where you are right now, bro, okay? Every guy with an entrepreneurial mind like yourself who will be hyper successful one day starts off there and that's just honestly immaturity. I've been there and it, it takes being called out sometimes to, to realize that and you're better off being that way than having nothing at all and just being like, no, a nine to five is amazing, right? No, it fucking isn't, right? But you have to master the ability to focus. So pick one thing. I'm a big advocate for at least till you're hitting 10, 15K a month, one product, one service. So for me, I basically went, okay, I knew my vision. I did know a vision. I wanted to be an online and everything like that. But I was like, okay, first of all, I just need to get in the gym and I need to actually just build myself up and build my people skills and just get established in the industry. It's just one step at a time. So it was like, okay, I'm gonna get into PT and I'm gonna get to 10 grand a month with just one service, no online, just PT, okay? So I literally built my PT to 10K a month in about five months and three months of that was COVID, okay? So you've gotta go all out and you've gotta understand the skills, you've gotta learn and we're gonna to touch on this in a bit, but you've gotta understand that you don't know what you don't know and you've gotta put yourself in environments where you're gonna find out information. When I started PT and I did not know how to earn 10K a month, I had to put myself in environments how to find that out and then execute on that. And we're gonna talk about that shortly. From there, I was like, okay, now I'm gonna introduce online. I weren't trying to do everything on my hand in all these pies because imagine you've got a son, okay? We're gonna call this a son up here. Okay, what we want is one beam of sun straight into 10K a month. Yes, a month. 
not buh, 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 business, 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 and you're just fluffing around doing fuck all, laser beam focus until you're at a minimum of 10K. From there, you have a really good understanding on your model and you're like, okay, who do I wanna help? Maybe I wanna go into this little area. Maybe I wanna help this. So for me, my model were, I got to 10K a month very fast with PT. And then I was like, okay, I actually wanna, I know my long goal is um, to build my socials and, and help mass amounts of people worldwide have huge impact and want be one of the most influential, impactful people on male personal development and physique building and just building aesthetic physiques which people look in the mirror and go, fuck. And becoming the guy you're capable of. So I was like, okay, I need to build my social media presence. And then what I did were I integrated a little bit of online. So I built my online up to maybe a few K a month very fast. And then I actually was like, okay, focus is the most important thing. Once I had done that, and I built my online to 3K fast because again, I'd already been in the industry a year in PT. I knew what I was doing. I had the content to talk about. I had the knowledge. I had the results to market. This is what a lot of people don't see. They think it's all just like overnight. And it's like, no, there was foundations years and years back. I was building my physique before I even started the PT. Then I did a year of PT, working 4 a.m. till 10, 11 p.m. at night every single day. And then when people go, how did your online grow so fast? I'm like, because I'd already been building the foundations for years, okay? So from here, then what I did was I understood the, 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 the significance of focus. And instead of then just trying to fluff around and do some online on the side and PT, I wiped out that whole income of 10K a month PT and went back to 3K. That now gave me the full laser for online because I had the skills, I had the knowledge, and then I scaled up to 10K extremely fast, and then obviously continued to go from that. Once I'd built to probably 15, 20K a month, I started adding in little areas of, of services, okay? So then we were helping, uh, we basically added a different package for physique coaching, we added that, a lot of health stuff as well. Then we started obviously helping other coaches get, uh, build and scale their businesses. And then we've also just added in the university, which is an online course on how to escape your nine to five, build the physique, build the mindset, create a life of freedom. And now all these things which are really fulfilling to me and meaningful to myself and I know can help my audience overcome everything I've overcome. That's all I wanna do is just help people overcome what I've overcome with the shit that means so much to me. So the main thing I wanna say is just go in one avenue. Yes, you may look at me and you may look at people with all these things, but that we didn't do all these things from the start. It was one thing to a minimum of 10K and then make a transition and then go all in. Focus is so, so important. The next thing we're gonna talk about is ignore norms and ignore the noise. Okay, and by that what I mean is there's gonna be a lot of people talking to you about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. Oh, come out, let's go out on the piss, you know. Oh, I don't know why you're spending so much time in the gym. Why do you wanna do that? That's a bit risky. Don't take advice from people who are in nine to fives living a life you don't wanna live. That is the biggest mistake you can ever make because they're not where you wanna be. So they're giving you their reality on how they see the planet and the one thing you wanna avoid is you don't want to see the world how they're seeing the world. You need to see the world how the successful people see the world. And we're going to talk about that very shortly. So just block out any noise. Stay focused. This is your mission. Nobody who isn't where you want to be can influence you. Now, I did do a video on this just a few days back. So if you haven't already watched that, do go and watch that. I'll try and drop a link up here as well uh, to watch after this video on basically the power of who you allow to influence you, and it's not necessarily just the five people you spend the most time with, okay? Next thing we're gonna talk about is habits, and not just habits, developing instinct, which I honestly believe to be so, so important, because, yeah, we, we talk about habits a lot, and we do need to build habits. We need to build ourselves into the person who lives by systems, lives by habits, lives by structure. So it's, you know, we might be waking up at X time, we may be training at X time, we may be hitting the calories, the macros, 
so many times a day to listen to an audio book or study or be in a course of education or be working with a coach or whatever. And these are the habits that we live by, which are growth focused, which means we're going to go from here to here. But there's also a lot of our day which is evolving around instinct. And that's like just effectively based on emotion. It's how we react. Something happens, how do we react? Someone says, hey man, do you want um, a burger? We're ordering burgers. Everybody at, at work right now is ordering burgers. Do you want one? Instinct is like, oh, yeah, I'll have one. We've got to reprogram that instinct. Oh, you know, oh, we're all off out tonight. It's Friday night. You come in, mate. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be a really big night. But you had in your head, you're meant to be going to the gym and then doing two hours of focused work on your new side hustle. You've got to develop the instinct and, re, and basically the mastery of self-regulation to be like, no, don't go off emotion. Everything has to be analytical. You have to think about everything and create and reprogram that instinct to be not subconscious from the old you, but to be conscious from the new version of you. Because habits are great, but if you still got horrendous instinct, it's going gonna, it's gonna to leave you resorting an evolving, basically, sorry, resorting back to your old standards. And you will always fall to your standards. We need to elevate your new standards by elevating your new instinct. The final thing that I want to talk about is the importance of a mentor. I know I'm not just plugging a mentor because I'm a coach and a consultant for obviously physique coaching and business coaching. I'm not saying this. This is not why I'm talking about this, but I really want to stress the importance of it because I know the impact it's had for me. Now, lads, I know what it's like to be a lad. I know what it's like to be a lad with an ego. I know what it's like to be a lad who is stubborn, right? You're talking to one right now. I'm a fucking stubborn fucker. I've got an ego. Lads have ego. Don't shy away and be like, oh, I don't have ego. Yes, we've got egos. That's fine. But when we have an ego to succeed, we need to make sure we serve that. And for as long as we hold an ego and we're ignorant and we ignore what's out there by telling ourselves we're the best thing, I'm all for positive affirmation, but then there's also delusional. Because if we're not where we want to be, it's because right now we don't know. So I'm all for positive reinforcement, telling ourselves we're going to accomplish these big things, but we need to always have a mentor. And this could be a paid mentor, but it could be a free mentor. This could be you guys just watching my YouTube videos. But honestly, having a mentor is the most important thing you can do in your life. And a mentor has to be somebody. The most important thing is they have to be somebody that has accomplished what you want to accomplish. That might be physique, mindset, lifestyle, business, career. And they're living a lifestyle that you would trade with. Because just having also the income isn't enough for someone to be a mentor, in my opinion. I've made this mistake before. Oh, yeah, they earn, you know, like when I was starting out, they earn 10K a month. So, like, they might be a good mentor for me. But actually, all they do is, like, they literally just sit there fucking in a dark room all day, living a boring life. And they've got, like, no friends. They get no women. They've got no social life. they like, living in a shithole. And they're like, oh, we need to save all our money. Like, come on. You need someone who lives a business model with a lifestyle that you want to live. So I was like, look, I know me. I want the big villas in Bali. I want the penthouses in Dubai. I want the nice cars and I want to do whatever. I want to travel when I want. I want to travel first class. If, like, look, someone can have the money, but if, they're, if, they, if they don't actually build their business in a way that allows them to live a lifestyle and you know, spend time with women and network with good lads and just live the proper life we want to live. I'm like, that doesn't work. You end up building something that you're going to live to resent. And I've made that mistake. And that is honestly the reason why I actually built our CEO program because I was like, look, we're getting a lot of interest, obviously, with, with the physique coaching. And we, we were coaching a lot of people with the physique and they were like, I really want to build this business. And at the start, I was like... I'm just going to stay doing the physique coaching. But after so long, I was like, I really felt like it was my duty to do it because there's no mentors out there that actually build you a business from scratch or help you scale a business from where you are. But true to your own design, everyone's business, everyone's lifestyle should be so unique to what they want so you don't resent it. 
You should have an idea on how you want your business to run and the life you want to live. And you build your business that aligns with you to get there and do that. You don't just want to build a carbon copy of what a mentor is telling a thousand other people to do. I'm like, this industry is such bullshit. Like, unfortunately, I've had to figure out a lot myself and go into different industries to work with mentors paying six figures to really understand stuff on a different level because unfortunately in the fitness and personal development industry, there's a lot of mentors who just live a shitty life who have no idea and they're just spraying the same stuff. Like, we're all about custom building. Okay, what is your exact vision? Okay, I'm gonna take you the whole way through it. Just like it is with our physique coaching clients. It's not, let's make everyone a carbon copy. Where do you wanna go? Okay, we're gonna take you the whole way there. So pick somebody that, that has the business, the physique, the mindset, or lifestyle that you wanna live because that is really important. You don't wanna build something that you're gonna resent. That's the whole industry. I said, follow your hobby, follow your vision, not just what's gonna get you money because when it comes to getting more than that few K, you're gonna need to do something that you know, you're gonna have to show up for and you're gonna need passion for that. The other thing with mentors is follow their paradigm. It's really important when it comes to leveling up that you really learn to adopt the mindset of these people who have accomplished things that you want to accomplish. Because that's, what, that, that's effectively how you're going to accomplish anything. It's your mindset. And yes, working on your training, your nutrition, building your physique, building yourself up, getting new experiences, putting yourself in new rooms is going to be really big for that. And you've got to be doing that. But just having that figure there of someone with that mindset of someone that you've wanted to accomplish, if you live by their mindset and you start to process the world how they process the world by their paradigms, you will start to accomplish exactly what they're accomplishing because it's how you see the world. The world is physically the same for everybody, but it is seen so differently because of how people process information and emotion and what their limiting beliefs are getting in the way. So the more you can adopt a mentor and just have that figure there that you're gonna stick by their systems, follow their systems, you will accomplish it. And just home in on one mentor, whether it is watching YouTube, whether it is like jumping in their course or on the coaching program with them, but you are really best off sticking with one mentor and going all in because there's so much information out there in the world these days, it is just giving everybody decision fatigue and there's a lot of bullshit. And then it's like, oh, I'm gonna follow this guy today and then someone else says something a bit different tomorrow and you're all going off and all you're doing is just fucking tangling your feet up with rope. If you just get, just like this graph here with the line of focus, you get one mentor, one destination and you go bang and you follow it, you're not gonna be doing this. And again, guys, I've made this mistake. So everything I talk about is I'm talking from experience and I've got where I've got pretty fast. But everybody we work with can get there 10 times faster because all the lessons that I've learned that slowed me down, I can share from the start and I can transfer in a matter of five minutes. So that's really important. Now there's one word I do wanna finish off with before I end this video, guys. And that is what this box is for right here. And it's just something I want you to take away from the video and really just highlight your focus on. Obviously we've got vision, self-belief, discipline, focus, ignoring norms, habits and instincts, a mentor, but they're all summarized into one word. And that word is capable. And the reason the word capable is that is because your main focus should be around building your lifestyle design on coming the person who is capable because you are exactly where you are right now because that is all you are right now capable of. So instead of thinking, how do I earn the money to leave my nine to five? How do I do this? How do I do this? Think about the version of yourself that would be capable. How would they look? How would they operate? How would they walk? How would they communicate? How would they articulate their words? How would they go about studying? How much would they invest into their education? How would they look at money? Would they be scared of it and save or would they always be looking to use their money as a tool to bring in new knowledge, acquire more value and give out and just understanding that the guy who is capable is someone you have to transcend up to. So your whole day, your whole week, your whole year, your whole focus should be designed around making you the guy who is more capable. Building the physique, building the mindset, building the skill sets, building the ability to focus and be productive and just stay focused on one thing. So guys, I hope you've taken a lot of value from this video. 
And all I want to do, like, guys, this has helped me get exactly where I've got today. And I know if you do apply this, you put your head down, you grind, you will accomplish everything you want to accomplish. I know it. It's just a matter of time and making your whole life built around becoming the guy who is capable. So I want you to come back, rewatch this video, keep motivating yourself, drop me a comment when you are getting closer to your goals, when you leave your nine to five. And honestly, guys, if you really think this video is a bag of shit, you can comment this is a bag of shit and you can stay exactly where, where you are right now. Now, if you wanna go further into, in a lot more depth, tenfold depth on how to become the guy who is capable with the physique, the mindset, the skills, and how to actually leave your nine to five step by step the whole way through the process, check out the link below this video and we have recently just launched our university which will help you become a high value guy and accomplish every single thing you want in life. I'll see you in the next video guys. Let's get it.